Apple is going far beyond in prioritizing software development, not just by enhancing its iOS features, but also by taking a sleek dive into artificial intelligence. Apple's latest AI innovation, Realm, reference resolution as language modeling, is designed to understand context and handle on-screen queries. Even though large language models, LLMs, are good at many tasks like understanding language, they haven't been used much for figuring out references, especially regarding things on a screen. Realm promises to enable users to naturally communicate and converse effectively with AI. To give a vivid scenario, the day-to-day -day communication between people usually involves references to pronouns and contextual speaking. Picture a situation where you're conversing with a friend via text message about planning a trip. Your friend says, let's meet at the restaurant at 7 p.m. In this scenario, reference resolution comes into play when you interpret the word restaurant. You may likely understand which restaurant your friend refers to based on previous conversations, shared knowledge, or context clues. It could be a specific restaurant you've discussed before, one prevalent in your area, or one nearby to both of you. You can accurately plan your meeting without any confusion by successfully resolving this reference. However, in the case of an AI, there could be sufficient difficulties in understanding a similar context where you could request a reservation at the restaurant your friend likes. Apple reinstated that this could potentially be an area in the current world of artificial intelligence where LLM, large language model, is underutilized. With Realm, we might be seeing a bridge in that gap. While recent large language models, LLMs, have made it possible to have complete experiences without needing multiple steps, there are still situations where using a step-by-step -step approach is helpful. If a system needs to work entirely on a device like a smartphone, due to privacy or efficiency concerns, using one big model for everything isn't practical. This is because using a single LLM would need a lot of computing power and would take too long to respond, making it unsuitable for devices with limited power. Also, when a model needs to work with other systems or share information, using an end-to-end -end approach where the LLM handles everything might not be the best option. This is because it would require a big language model and would need to change how existing systems work, which could be difficult or impossible. Considering all these barriers, Realm is designed to use a specialized model that allows Apple's computer engineers to easily upgrade the reference resolution part of a system without changing everything else. This also makes it easier to understand how the system works, like being able to see each part separately. It also comes with features other than merely understanding what's said in a conversation. Features like recognizing things on a screen or in the background that the user interacts with, even if they haven't directly discussed them. Understandably, Apple engineers are considering using smaller language models specifically trained for reference resolution. This is a turning point at which AI could show remarkable potential in tackling a wide range of tasks, from causal reasoning to language suitability, question answering to textual conception, and even pronoun resolution. However, a real challenge arises when applying this technique to the broader task of reference resolution within a voice assistant context. It's like asking the LM to understand what's being said and visually see and interpret items on a screen. According to Apple's recent research paper, the tricky part is figuring out how to encode items displayed on the screen so the language model can understand and resolve, while still aligning with how it handles conversational questions. It's a bit like asking it to seamlessly switch between two languages, the language of conversation and visuals, and understand both fluently enough to resolve references accurately. Ah. While older reference resolution models for understanding context have focused a lot on spoken and visual cues, less attention has been paid to figuring out what's on a screen. But for things like mobile assistants, for example, they need to understand what's on the screen to feel natural. <laughs> for a few reasons, references to things on a screen are different from spoken or visual references. They're usually more structured and text-based, meaning AI can use simpler models to understand them without looking at actual images. Bringing this solution to light will go a long way since for most people, asking a question on screen would mean you are more interested in doing something with them rather than just asking questions, right? Lately, there's been a lot of interest in using vision transformers and other pre-trained models to understand visuals, but these models are usually trained on real-world images, not screenshots of anything displayed on screen, which are pretty different. Training these models is expensive and doesn't always work well with text-heavy images. Overall, understanding spoken and on-screen references together is still a pretty new area, but it's essential for making things like mobile assistance more helpful and intuitive. Innovation is in Apple's DNA, as seen with most of its products. It is now developing a system that focuses on understanding references to anything on a screen. 
But just as with any other software, it is likely to have problems and fixes. Realm relies on a particular category module to handle different types of references. This module must be updated manually every time a new type of reference is added, which happens often as voice assistants get more features. Also, it treats each reference type as entirely different, so it misses out on connections between similar types. This means there's a missed opportunity for valuable connections between similar queries like phone number and contact. When information is added for one type, it could also help understand other related types. But this method doesn't allow it. As a result, it might be hard for Realm to adapt this approach to work with new types of queries and different situations. Again, Realm uses handcrafted a rule-based textual overlap feature to determine how similar two pieces of text are, which can be unreliable. This approach doesn't consider things like how similar two concepts are. It also looks at each reference separately without considering how they relate to each other or the whole screen. This means it might miss essential connections between different references. To create a user-centric experience, Realm will focus on things currently shown on the user's screen, like a list of contacts or options. Things mentioned in the conversation, like a contact name mom when the user wants to call her, or options provided by the virtual assistant and things happening in the background, like an alarm going off or music playing. To further ensure a user-centric experience, a series of data tests have also been carried out on Apple's new artificial intelligence. These datasets were based on real people information or synthetic data to provide good software usability. Data about things that came up during a conversation with the virtual assistant was collected. Graders look at fake lists of stuff and are asked to talk about a specific item on the list. For example, they might be shown a list of businesses and asked to talk about one of them, like saying, take me to the second one from the bottom or call the one on Main Street. Another way Apple's engineers can get data is by using templates to make fake examples. This works well when you can figure out what someone's talking about based on the type of thing they mention without needing a detailed description. The templates include different ways to talk about things, and a script combines these templates to make lots of different examples. Screen data from web pages with phone numbers, email addresses, or physical addresses was also collected. Engineers at Apple ran through these pages and marked the important information in two stages. The first stage was about finding questions based on what's shown on the screens, and the second stage was about figuring out what's important in those questions. In the first part, graders were shown a picture with some boxes marked in green, containing things like phone numbers or email addresses. They had to say what each green box was about, and then come up with three different questions related to what was in the green boxes. In the second part, the questions from the first part were shown to the graders one by one, without the boxes marked. They had to decide if each question mentioned something from the list of things shown on the screen and if it sounded natural. They also had to say which thing from the list the question was about and tag the part of the question that talked about it. The big question, is Realm going to take over ChatGTP or will it at least have a higher chance of outperforming the AI chatbot? Interestingly, Apple had this question in mind when the methods used to develop Realm were compared with two other methods, that of Mars and the highly acclaimed AI system ChatGPT, in this case, both GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. Unlike Realm, which focuses on using LLMs, Mars doesn't rely on them. Although Mars includes conversational and background entities along with its built-in on-screen functionality, more riveting, this version of Mars was trained using the same datasets used for Realm, which include conversation, on-screen, and synthetic data. Also, testing the GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 versions, available as of January 24th, 2024, with in-context learning. Like with Realm, the aim was for ChatGPT to predict a list of essential things from a given set. With GPT 3.5, which only understands text, it was given just the prompt. However, with GPT 4, which can understand images too, a screenshot was given for tasks involving things on the screen. Although Apple's way of giving prompts to ChatGPT, especially with images, is new. This more complex approach deserves further, dedicated exploration, and we leave this to future work, according to a recent research paper. Apple's data comparison result shows the approach used in developing Realm works better than the Mars model across all data types. Even compared to GPT 3.5, which is much bigger than Realm, it still performs well. Apple also claims its approach achieves similar results to the latest GPT-4, even though its model is much smaller and faster, and goes further to explain how especially proud they are of Realm's performance with on-screen data, almost matching GPT-4, albeit it doesn't use screenshots. The results are almost surprising after testing GPT-4 
ReLM and Mars on a new task like alarms. Large language-based models like ReLM and GPT-4 outperform Mars. Specifically, when looking at how well they understand domain-specific questions, ReLM stands out. For example, when faced with a question about a setting, GPT-4 only considers the setting itself, while ReLM understands that other things might be involved, like a home automation device. This shows that Realm is better at understanding specific topics because it's been trained on domain-specific data. While big language models like Realm can sometimes produce unexpected answers, Apple asserts that its system can limit those surprises. We rarely see Realm making things up since it doesn't have to restrict how it works very often. Overall, we can now see how big language models determine what users mean when referring. As we look ahead, the possibilities with Realm are limitless. By transforming on-screen displays into text, the Realm can understand and keep track of where they are. Apple's new AI model, Realm, might also offer significant potential compared to older methods and even compete well with the most advanced model, GPT-4. It's especially good at understanding specific topics that users reference. Realm could be a great choice for systems that need to understand context, like those on smartphones, without losing performance. However, the current method used in developing Realm might struggle with really complicated questions, that rely on detailed positions. So in the future, we expect to see an implementation of more complex methods, like splitting the screen into parts and encoding those positions into text.